Hey, Brian Young with ProTriggerToys.com, ProTriggerDodge.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give us thumbs up. Okay, so my son, he just gets on my nerves. I don't know what else to say. Anyways, he wants me to show you what all the different cars are. Now, this is not every single car. I mean, there are millions of cars, but these are the, the progressions of the cars. Now, I don't have original T-Jets, but Auto World kind of replicated the T-Jets, and they're called the Ultra G T-Jets, okay? And then this is a Tomy AFX, uh, kind of similar to the um, Aurora AFX uh, Extraction. Uh, it's not. This is the extraction that... that uh, Tommy made or Aurora made, but now this is Auto Worlds. So this is these are all the cars that Tommy made in the 80s. Called um, uh, the, 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 they they had two. They had the Super G and then they had the Turbos. This is a Turbo. Okay. So let's go through each car, running it around, and then this is AF. Uh, this is a Tyco. This is Tyco. Tyco was made by Mattel. This was these are Auto World cars. This was Tommy AFX. And then this is Race Master. So let's go with uh, a Tommy AFX, all right? So you, you see the, the feel of the car, how it drives around the track. Okay, so these are cars that were in the uh, 80s and 90s, okay, to about 2000s when they quit making Tommy AFX, all right? Then they also came out with Tommy uh, uh, Super G, okay? Super G cars, with it, which were a faster, and that's how then Race Masters went with Mega G, okay? Then you have Aurora Thunder Jets, which are these type of cars, which these are what I grew up in in the late 60s, from 72 to 75 when I lived next to Franklin Park Mall. All right, now, Auto World made a lot of differences. They put magnets on the bottom, okay? which was one big difference, and they changed the, the, the rear tire. The, the front and the rear tire were both the same tire. They were a very thin tire, kind of almost looked like a rigor stock car tire, okay? And so this is the Auto World, this is an Auto World Thunder Jet Ultra G. Thunder Jet Ultra G. I love these cars. These are my favorite. They don't go super fast, but you can at least watch them and look at them while they're going around the track, okay? These are my favorite. All right, then you come up with Extraction, which Auto or uh, Aurora had the Extraction, and uh, uh, um, Aurora did. Uh, uh, Auto World then, uh, or, or Round Two, came up with the Magnet, and they just increased, uh, made some differences. So this is an Extraction chassis, okay. A very smooth, it's a smoother car, all right. All right, so that's Extraction. And then you have the Tyco, uh, just 440 X2s. Now, I think this is a 440. Yeah, this is a 4. See, uh, Tyco came out with two cars, 440 and then 440 X2. Well, then they had some other miscellaneous, like, like cliffhangers and some other miscellaneous chassis. But their 440 X2s were their last type of cars, and they were super fast. All right, so that is the Tyco car. And then the last car, which we, we we're going to be doing a video, is the Race Master um, Mega G, which are totally re-engineered. This car, you cannot put these bodies on any of these cars, okay? And so, see the, how fast that car started off the bat? Some people like speed, all right? Some people like just the way the way it looks for example this one i just i love these it sounds realistic it sounds like you've got a car going around the track i'm sorry these are my favorite car okay i just bought which this is i'm probably putting this video i just made a special purchase it's going to be an exclusive for pro tinker i just bought 500 of the barracuda number 42 we're going to be offering special promotions but now this is the uh this is the cougar okay and this is in the Trans World set, which I, I take these out of it if you want them. This is a beautiful car. Nice, fun car. Uh, race Brace these things around. You'll have a lot of fun. The number one car. Uh, now, you can take, like, okay, so you see the little clips here on the car? These are Tomy. All right? This is Race Masters. If you notice, their clips are the same. So I could take this body and put it on this car. Okay, now I might have to adjust the, the tires, but it will run on that car, okay? 
Now, Mega G, when Mega G came out, they 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 re-engineered re their chassis. Their chassis now is a very streamlined chassis, okay, where the race ext extraction is the more, it's a wider chassis, okay? I don't want to, I don't want to knock any other car. I just want to say that certain cars are made for different speeds and, and these are more expensive than, than these, okay? I, I'll just tell you right now, almost $10, $15 more. But some people want a better performance car. And, and that's what uh, uh, the Mega G cars are from Race Masters. So here are the, these are the four, I mean, there are other cars. I don't have every single car. I, I, there's probably about 50 different chassis that I could put out here, which I don't have every 50 chassis. But these are the popular chassis that I, now they do have the four gear, the four uh, gear chassis, which is the longer chassis, which are the cars, the quarter, Legends of the Quarter Mile, uh, the Batmobile, um, the uh, uh, Ecto One from uh, Race uh, uh, um, uh, Ghostbusters, but Aurora came out with their. Hold on, just sit right here. Uh, I'll, I'll get an uh, Ford Gear. I have one right here, which is the Batman. Well, no, I'll just go ahead because we're going to be doing a video on this. This is the new Scooby Doo. And I'm just going to show this, but we're going to do a video on Scooby-Doo, but I'll just show you basically there. This is their um, four gear chassis. Okay. This is a beautiful car. Look at this thing. Okay. It's got interior detail. See steering wheel and everything. They could have been cool if they put people inside, but they didn't. Okay. So when Aurora was at their peak, they had a lot of four gear chassis. They would have semi trucks. Uh, they would just have uh, like Cadillacs and, and and limousines, and they would I mean, they, and and they they use the four gear because it they, it has a different gear. See, look, see, you have three gears here: one, two, three. Now you have one, two, th one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. All right. This is a four gear. This is a two gear or three gear. All right. So this is the. Uh, 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 the Mystery Machine, Scooby Dooby Doo. I used to watch that in the 70s. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me just do this one real quick just so you can see how fun that car is. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. Buy a half a dozen of these and have a race. You could win the race with, without falling over. But anyway, so that these are the four gear, the two gears, or the three gears, your race masters, your extraction. Your Thunderjet Ultra G, uh, your Tomy AFX. Um, I'm limited on Tomy AFX chassis. I do have a ton of Tomy AFX sets. I have the Ghost Eraser. I have the um, Super Speed. There's like five sets that are available at ProTinkerToys.com. Just look for Tomy AFX, and that's what these sets are. Okay, and that's the way a lot of guys will collect these and keep buying them. I used to have like 600 of these chassis and over the last five years they just sold out. But anyways, that's another history of cars for everybody. Um, do you have one more question? Yes. What is the question? Start from the Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Pop the top off, put it right in front of it right there and then say what it is. Ready? Oh my gosh, that's the four gear. That's the four gear chassis. That is Tomy AFX. Now, I can't take off because this is screwed on, but this is a Thunder Jet. You're going to want me to take the body off. I know it. I can feel it in your brain. It's, it's because I'm, I, I gave birth to him. Oh, my gosh. So this is a Thunder Jet chassis. See how small it is? Really cool. Very thin slide. Now, that's the uh, uh, Aurora went from their... <clears throat> and then you have... Uh, the uh, Mega G, and then you have uh, AFX, or I mean Tyco 440. And that's your four different cars. Oh, just drop those. And we have all these cars available. These are great starter sets. Great to get into slide cars. You'll have a ton of fun with your kids. Uh, a four bay sheet of plywood is all you need for a, a 130 or HO. You know, that's, that's all you need is a four bay sheet of plywood, and you'll be able to do anything you want and have a great set. 
Okay? So this is Brian Young with ProTrickerToys.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. One more question. Yes, sir. What is the next question? No, no, I'm closing up. I just... Okay, you don't have another question, sir? Are you sure? I don't want you to put them together yet. Oh, now he doesn't want me to put them together yet. Unbelievable. Okay, all right, so I have to put them down and go. So don't forget to like and subscribe us. Uh, and um, don't forget to uh, thumbs up us and um, give us, uh, um, yeah, thumbs up. Like and subscribe and share with everybody you know. If, you, if you're a grandparent and you want to get something for your grandkid, get your dad, a, get your son a set. If he's got kids, buy him a race set for Christmas or his birthday. And he'll have a ton of fun with his kid. Because all these sets take up less than 20 to 30 minutes to set up. At ProTinkerToys.com, a place for boys and dads.